We're flying over the UK's Shetland Islands, just below a thick layer of clouds. Up until now, you've been able to look outside to judge the aircraft's attitude and location. What happens when you lose that outside view? That takes us into the world of instrument flight. When you can't use the horizon for reference due to clouds, darkness, or other hindrances to visibility, you'll need to rely on your airplane's instruments. When flying on instruments alone, you'll need to rely on your attitude indicator to see your pitch and roll information. Modern cockpits like this combine several instruments into one electronic display called a primary flight display, or PFD. Stay on heading 270, set full power, and climb up to 4,500 feet. Set full power for the climb. We're climbing up into the cloud layer. Notice how you're starting to lose your outside view. Instead of looking out the canopy, focus your attention on the cockpit instruments. You can maintain wings level using the attitude indicator. Continue climbing to 4,500 feet. Using the vertical speed indicator and the altimeter, level off at 4,500 feet while continuing to maintain a heading of 270. Now fly straight and level at 4,500 feet, getting used to not having an outside horizon for reference. again for crews and keep us at 4,000 feet. Now that you've tried some climbs and descents, we'll introduce turning. Throughout this lesson, 
maintain your current altitude of 4,000 feet. Our heading is the direction our nose is pointing, measured in degrees. The main electronic display in front of you is the primary flight display, or PFD. At the bottom center of the PFD, we see the horizontal situation indicator, or the HSI. The HSI shows us the direction our nose is pointing, called our heading. Headings are measured in degrees, with east being 090, south 180, west 270, and north 360. Currently, we're heading west. That's 270 degrees. When turning, we want to aim for a bank angle of around 20 degrees. Along the top of the attitude indicator are white lines. Each line represents 10 degrees. Normally, we use about 20 degrees of bank, which is the second white line. Let's try it out. Make a turn to the left onto heading 180 using 20 degrees of bank. Keep turning until heading south, at which point smoothly roll back to wings level. That's it. Stop turning there and you'll be heading due south, heading 180. Great. Now try and maintain this heading for a short while. Now make a turn to the right onto a heading of 350. to a heading of 350. Now maintain heading 350 for a bit. knots, maintaining our heading and altitude. Let's look at how we deal with speed changes when flying on instruments. When slowing down, the wings produce less lift. To counter this, you'll need to progressively raise the nose in order to maintain altitude. Give it a try. Reduce power and bring the speed back to 70 knots. Try to maintain 4,000 feet altitude. Remember to adjust the elevator trim so that you don't have to keep putting any pressure on the controls. You need to be able to control altitude while adjusting speed.
set power to maintain 70 knots. Notice how the nose needs to be a little higher than before to make up for the loss of airspeed. Use the elevator trim to adjust pitch to the new speed and maintain 70 knots for a bit. to get your speed back up to 100 knots. As we speed up, notice how you need to trim nose down to avoid climbing. That's it. Now stabilize at 100 knots. Try to maintain 4,000 feet altitude. You need to be able to control altitude while adjusting speed. Now we'll take flap settings into account. Flaps give a boost in lift, which you'll need to control in order to maintain our altitude. They also add drag, making us slow down more quickly, so be careful not to get too slow. Reduce power and slow us down to 60 knots. Good, now extend the flaps to 10 degrees. Now set flaps at 20 degrees. With the extra drag, start adding power so you don't drop below your target airspeed of 60 knots. Now stabilize at 60 knots and trim for level flight. Wow, great job. Next, we'll look at navigating on instruments alone. 